Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Alika Manova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing skin actives. Skincare for skin that needs a little extra, a little more. Now, uh, I don't want to torture my skin and I don't want to fight aging, but at the same time it is good to kind of pick up my skin game if if things um, seem to require a little more. So my skincare is for skin over 40, but it can be applied for any skin because those are not exclusive to skin over 40. But over 40 is when we notice cha a change in our skin, I feel at least I did. My over 40 also coincided with hard water exposure, so it's also skin with some damage, right? Sadly for me, the damage was from really, really, uh, from water that really was damaging to um, the skin, the collagen there, etc. I have divided my skincare in uh, four categories. Um, those four categories are very strong, maybe five. And I'll try to skim over them and write everything else in the description so the video is not very uh, long. The first category is from this, um, it's a small company. I discovered it exactly last, I think, October when I was moving from Texas to California. And I, the reason why I remember is because I thought as soon as I get to California, I'll order it once I have an address because I didn't have an address. Once I had an address, <laughs> I ordered it and i told everybody about it it seems to work now i don't have thermal image resonance etc before and afters i don't even have before and afters in my um opinion it seems to do something not filler level now to open a bracket um I'm not doing Botox, I've never done Botox, and I'm open to certain things in the future. Maybe I'll do PRP, that sounds absolutely fantastic, PRF, sounds fantastic. I'll do certain um, treatments that are, um, um, they seem to be very good for the skin and the health. Um, Botox, I don't feel very strongly about other people doing Botox, but I have done enough research to feel that I will not be getting it ever um, because of the systemic effect it may potentially have uh, but I do think it looks good on people I do think it has a strong effect I know it can be overdone but I'm not talking about that I'm talking about when it's done just right you know people do have this kind of more smooth more refreshed look so I do appreciate it it's it's aesthetics uh, but I do feel that there is a nonce with it and it's a strong industry and we, before we know the <clears throat> certain <clears throat> details about it, who knows. But if you know a lot about it or some about it, post it below. I do feel that it does give you quite a bit of benefit. So I do appreciate, you know, the two sides of it. There is quite a bit of benefit, relatively safe, but I have read quite a bit of the possible either nervous system systemic effects or other effects so i just personally for myself i'm gonna deal with my um you know the things that bother me in my face uh and i'll i'll, I'll go from there same goes for certain uh, skin treatments like laser i'm not 100 percent sure because there could be it depends on the practitioner that does it. Maybe there could be long-term damage to the skin, but I know that lasers look really good after when done correctly. Uh, so if you know a lot about laser, if you have long-term effects of laser, let me know. Does it damage the fat? Um, could it cause more aging down the line because of the strong effects? Uh, is it? I feel that for some people it's probably long-term great. Uh, but for myself, I'm not sure that I would take that risk because it could have a long-term probably aging effect. I'm not sure. I've read quite a bit on it, but I don't want to express opinions because I know everybody is doing laser and I don't want to freak anybody out because it does seem very good in certain situations. But then I feel like we are not quite given the full information, of course, with those treatments especially long term if you look at the skin there is fat layer um, fascia so you have the collagen elastin um, soft tissue uh, bone lymphatic circulation blood etc uh, muscles 
tension and so those are all different categories and they if you address just one it may look may work for you but those are different categories and I have addressed certain parts of these categories in uh, my classes now as as much as I can I address stretching of the face because stretching as much as I can include it in yoga classes I address it I feel pretty blessed to be in the yoga field because it's with years and decades in this field I feel I get certain realizations, epiphanies, downloads, etc., whatever you want to call it. Like things come deeper, bigger, more rounded for me. And that's why we don't necessarily want to anti age. We got to appreciate age because with age comes expertise that does not come from books, it comes from dedicated experience in a field and I really look up to people that have dedicated years into a field like say herbalists, um, uh, gardeners, anybody that has stuck with a craft and really explored it and innovated in, within it, I look up to those people because there is so much there to be gained, to be learned from and with that being said even the aging skin gives us the privilege to have experienced a lot of things in life and to enter towards, as we enter the 40s, that is the perimenopausal years, which is when a woman and possibly a man, maybe for men is a little different timeline, there is um, a, a version of perimenopause for men when the hormones shift, it happens a little differently there. Uh, but this is the time when we birth ourselves. It's a, it's a process of birthing and on the other end, a different new person awaits us. That is the, the, the result, the culmination, the refinement of everything that we've experienced up to a point. I'm in that process, but I can kind of feel forward into it. Uh, I'm not menopausal or postmenopausal, but I, you know, you like, I like philosophy. I like to see how things energetically feel, astrologically feel, etc. Because there is archetypal uh, energy into those things. My uh, skin categories. So that's what I wanted to say. There is expertise to be had in uh, in dedication to a field. I try to do nowadays skin uh, face stretches um, um, within the yoga classes as much as I can because every part of the body is really unique and important. The feet relate to the cervical spine, the posture, the face, the pelvis, the shoulders. So when we work on certain areas of the body, we work on the face. Um, so um, I can't always include one thing in the classes because I explore from so many aspects and so many postural aspects, strength building aspects, etc. I, uh, with muscle building in the face, which would be the fit maybe category of today's skin actives, you have to be very careful not to tense the face or over tense the face. So some people can't even build muscle in the face because they already have tense faces and they need to just stretch it. And some people can build muscles just kind of in this area where it you could potentially build a lot without causing tension or shortening muscles. Now, as we age, our muscles shorten. When we're younger, we have a lot of fat. They're not as shortened. The fat heights, you can get away with murder if you have enough good fat on your face. So um, I do stretches for the mentalis, the depressors, the platysma. This is like the best one here. I've been including the massages, which improve circulation, lymphatic drainage, collagen production, etc. And just overall, the skin gets worked and it acts f fresher, it acts better, it acts healthier for your age. Once we reach a certain age, the fat can become lazy. We can get more fat in areas we don't want to, less fat in areas we want to, etc. So I came across this cream, uh, which is more of a mask, to be more precise. 
Um, I'll link the website below. As soon as I had an address, I ordered a film. I used it and without doing a scientific study, I haven't done thermal images before and afters, etc. But to my eye, it does seem to do something. Something enough to look good. Um, it's not, you know, like your place filler in your face. It's not, you're not going to fill your face up with fat. But it is set through the um, follicles of the hair to to sink into the adipose tissue and to create healthier behaving fat. Adipose tissue. I do feel that it does that to a degree. You know, when you um, scale your expectations, that's kind of when you you may see it works. If you expect it to do some absolute insane miracle, I think that's mostly injectables or maybe the scalpel. So for now, I don't want to, you know, say too much, uh, but from research about Botox and other injectables, I probably would avoid most of them, but I would be open to certain things. PRP seems to be great. I've never done it, but I'm open to it. PRF I hear is great. I'll do it, but maybe at some point. Um, there is other things like sculpture that are said to um, be injectable, uh, almost like a dissolvable biodegradable sutures that are said to uh, um, make your body produce collagen. But then when I look into the ingredients of sculpture, it is a polylactic um, uh, fiber and which kind of has um, a kind of polyplastic in it so I don't know how that works with the lymphatic system I'm not clear on it I've tried to research it in regards to the lymphatic system and I'm not getting very um, far with it the industry is really strong so the benefits we always hear the benefits about it about all of those things the benefits are out there to read them easily but when, when you start to dig there's certain things that uh, are worth looking into. I follow a few pages on Instagram about certain side effects of certain procedures and I think these procedures are to be taken seriously. We don't hear about those things a lot because the industry is strong. Uh, but anyways, I'm not gonna go further deeper into that because um, I think there is a place for certain things even especially if certain things bother you enough to where you know it's a, it's a it's a good trade-off uh, but lymphatic system is related to cancer is related to certain uh, to, you know lymphatic uh, drainage is very important to us so certain things we have to be clear how they affect the fascia the lymphatic system etc so there is a lot more to be said I think anything that we do should be kind of from a place of knowing and certain things are not um, known yet so I, I feel that there is more, okay, let's leave this for another discussion because it's quite a big topic and I, I also don't want to sound like I'm, I've made my decision and I am feeling um, extreme. I feel like both sides are very extreme on the topic. You have the industry that's very strong, people that love those products because they give you immediate results. Understandably, they do look good when done correctly they look fantastic and then you have people that really maybe overplay the side effects so i feel like i need i need to understand it in a better way for myself but i do feel that there is more to it than we we kind of generally understand this adipo um I like it. Uh, it does have a subtle but to me visible effect. Mostly it makes the skin act firmer. Maybe it increases to a very small degree the fat layer. Um, I can mostly see it above the lip very visibly. It makes the lip line pretty strong immediately in that same day. So uh, it, it has immediate effect on certain areas. It's applied like a mask and then you just wipe it off, remove it, wash it off, etc. or put a matting, something, because it's pretty oily. And it does seem to have um, a good effect. There is very few products like it on the market. I think there is one French. Uh, it's quite exciting. I've reached out to the owner of the company. 
Ivan and uh, I do have a code. I'll post all the codes I have. I think I have two codes only for today's things. Um, if I have a code, I'll post, be post below. I'll post the websites. I'll post additional information. If uh, if you want some additional discussions, let me know. Um, but as far as the fat layer goes, because I, as I mentioned, we're dealing with collagen, elastin, fat, um, skin turnover, the skin very top layer itself, um, uh, the muscles, the tone of the face, the lymphatic drainage, etc. All of those are very important and we can't address skincare just with the very top layer. Uh, but this is the fat layer. So I think when you have a good fat layer, absolutely everything kind of hides in it. Next is Retin-A. A little bit of controversial ingredient as all skincare nowadays is controversial. I do like it for what it does. For now, I'll use it. Um, I've gone through using it daily. I've started with the lowest um, uh, percentage all the way to 1%. Um, I've used it daily for quite a while and now I use it a little less often than daily at night. The peeling that it does, the renewal of, of, of skin layers is fantastic. It's It just makes the pores smaller, it purges the skin, it gets rid of the rough texture that we get with age. It's, it's quite lovely. As far as whether it affects the fat layer, it seems that if you don't put it on um, wet skin and if you uh, follow certain precautions, it's fine. I've looked at people like Johnny's dad that have used it for 30-40 years. He had a fabulous results, so I do like it. I do have friends referral code. They don't know me, <laughs> by the way. But I do like it for what it is. I'll post my referral code below. I think it gives you like the first month free. With Adipo, I think it's Ali15. I'm pretty sure it's Ali15 Capital. I just reached out to... Um, the owners to uh, to make sure that this code is still active and he's doing fabulous things with his company so it's a small company it's it's a very cool project it's a cool thing to know about um, especially after a certain age I think young people have fantastic fat layer and they just really don't need um, you know the, the fat acts just like young fat um, so um, this is for the skin renewal. It renews collagen. It makes the skin firmer, not thinner. Thinner is only in the beginning when the skin reacts to it. But again, different skins react differently to it. Some people have massive reactions to Retin-A. Some people can't use it. Overall, I don't have sensitive skin. My skin is not oily. It's not dry. It's never been dry. I've never had a single day of dry skin in my life. And the only times I look oily, which I do, is when I slather on the oil. So I think my skin is just baseline, non-reactive, natural for the most, um, normal for the most part. So I feel that, you know, some people can't use Retin-A, some people have to use the lowest, lowest, lowest and first put um, one product, then the Retin-A, then uh, oil or cream to just kind of minimize the effects. Um, but it is an ingredient that turns over the skin and seems to be one of the best things I have used to just give me like a far better texture, a little more collagen, a little more firmness, a little tightness, nothing, you know, that surgical procedures will give you, but you know, within the scale of normal expectations, I, I do like it. Everybody will get different results if you have great skin to start with, if you have great fat layer to begin with, obviously this will just build up on that. I started off kind of in a crisis moment, so it did reverse the crisis moment for me. My skin was suffocating with the water uh, in Texas. I had total, totally terrible reaction to the water. It had damaged my um, skin, collagen felt, felt damaged. I got... Um, sunspots where my uh, hands were soaking the most in the um, water so keep in mind people will consider this sun damage but it is water damage because where the water was touching me the most is where i got the damage and i only 
it took me a while to kind of reverse figure out what happened but it was a heavy water damage um and i, I wasn't would... reacting in a way that you know it was more like a um, long-term damage to the skin or aging to the skin anyways so for this one i do have referral code i think it gives you at least a month free or two months something off i think they run different specials maybe but it does give you i want to say maybe the first month free and it's a friend's referral code i'll post it below now those are the first two categories that are pretty strong now retina i feel like it should always come with glycolic acid they play off of each other but not in the very beginning i think there is some use getting used to both retin and glycolic and in combination before you can actually work them together and without your skin reacting at this point glycolic makes retin for me better like it it dissolves the top layer of the skin uh, glycolic only works in the very top it brightens the skin but it doesn't turn over the lower layers of the skin retina is very penetrating it goes deeper to where this is more surface they work off of each other they, this flex off the top layer so you don't have peeling skin i think after a, a brief period i stopped having peeling skin the peeling is a little bit addictive because you kind of get the quick turnover of the skin so that you can reverse damage for me my pores are back to their original size they had gotten big and kind of suffocating from the water uh, so it kind of you know purge my skin it does that with acne too uh, if someone has um, kind of uh, heavy skin it will purge it for me it purged more like the aging part or the um, maybe the damage part i do have different glycolic acids like this is a cream 12 percent I'll list them below and then um, sometimes I like to use a lot of oils and sometimes I like to stop sometimes I use oil after retin-a sometimes in the morning sometimes I use glycolic in the morning and I do like to change it up seasonally month to month sometimes day to day one day glycolic one oil sometimes I get tired of the oil it gets heavy I like the dry look um, sometimes I like to not use anything but this in the morning this is a really fabulous um, tonic bio essence lotion tonic skin conditioning bio redox it's supposed to speak to your redox molecules and to does some great stuff for your skin but it really looks good and moisturizing on the face even though it's just liquid water with oils, I have a ton of oils, and I say I pretty much love them all. Tamanu is fun, phenomenal. Jojoba is phenomenal, especially for acne-prone skin. This one is with um, with hemp, cannabis sativa, and cardamom essential oil. Um, I'm not going to list all the oils I love because I will make this video 300 hours long. Uh, from essential oils, a worthy mention is helichrysum. It's absolutely fantastic. I found helichrysum or everlasting. I found everlasting flower here, but it is the poorly everlasting of um, America. And I'm not sure if it's the same as this everlasting helichrysum, but if it is, I'll be growing it. Otherwise I can order the seeds for helichrysum and grow that too. I have fantastic clay mask on my website. Um, go Google clay mask on my website, Ali Kamenova clay mask. It's absolutely fantastic with MSM, with um, sandalwood. It's a power mask. We're talking D DMEA. It's a power mask. It can be done not super often because it's a little drying, but it's just so good. I'm also working maybe on eventually developing an um, orange peel mask now that I'm an orange farmer. Uh, we have such so much work here such projects such dreams and we want to see things come into fruition so maybe i will have an orange mask soon and first because the orange peels i have are top of the line <laughs> they're unsprayed uh they're fantastic i'll be there in five minutes this is a little strong 
but that's why I'm calling the video skin actives this is derma pen so it's like a derma roller but you kind of I'll show you so you choose your length of needle your depth of needle and your speed and I'll link it below it's up to pen you turn it on and you move like that over the skin because and you can choose the speed and the depth of needle by twisting it you can go deep or you can go very shallow like 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.75 1 millimeter etc to 1.5 probably is the highest so 1.75 maybe it's the highest uh, I use it usually at 0.5 uh, but the thing is you cannot use it with retin-a I mean some people maybe can and I mean obviously not with retin-a but I mean you cannot use it around the same week <laughs> I find that if I want to use it unfortunately I have to really space them out by quite a few days that's a whole another subject of another video because it's uh, another uh, topic but because they're both pretty strong, turn the skin over, they both cause peeling a few days later because um, um, they turn the skin over. This one is a little more saving to the skin because you go straight and you the fast needle is less uh, painful. They have different needle sizes, different amount of needles, um, 16, 32 needles. Um, you choose your own depth and those are removable one-time cartridges castor oil this one is um, i forgot the name of the company organic something like that i'll link it below it comes with two bottles with brush and a little brush tip and and a little linen bag it's pretty cool I used it for four months or five straight on my uh, eyebrows to regrow or to fill in the sparse areas of my eyebrows from over plucking I had really thin <laughs> eyebrows so I feel like it did it did the job it's good for wrinkles and so forth now I am including stretches for the face I feel like I feel like platysma stretch is your best friend after a certain age for some block I sometimes don't use and uh, there is quite a big bracket to open here um, s oh, our skin and eyes are a very big indicator of how much sun we have gotten so if we block the eyes or the skin we may prevent uh, vitamin D absorption and also we may trick our body into not realizing it's getting too much sun because we're not the sunblock will prevent us from getting the signal of redness so even with sunblock I know everybody is on in the like almost like a religious uh, coat of sunblock but I feel like sun has to be re yes respected but also there should be some wise connection to it I did buy if you're at the beach all day and with water reflecting sun etc of course yes but day to day I feel like we should kind of not go with the crowds and kind of think about things from a holistic perspective uh, because um, I was listening to someone I forget who was some skin expert and she was saying that her mother was like crazy about and now I forget who she was saying her mother was crazy about sun damage she never went out always indoors never showed her face to the sun some block um, some protection etc and she died without one wrinkle but extensive osteoporosis I kind of think who might have said that but I got a double check it was one of the skincare experts so there is the sun fulfills a very important health purpose and we definitely have to avoid the very hot hours of the day but also there is a certain amount of connection to the sun that creates obviously vitamin D and through the eyes in particular now I didn't bring my infrared light the infrared light is really good I didn't bring it um, I have a very professional one but also have smaller ones I'll link below what I have and that's a, another discussion 
I use this anchor right on my back, on my, uh, mostly on my back. Uh, I love it when I can. I put it in my face, uh, eyes, etc. It has very promising results for an aging eye. I did buy um, some block today. Um, just tinted moisturizer. I haven't used this one ever, and I figured, well, sun summer is coming, and I'll end up being in this uh, at the ocean or something for a longer period. Those are the times when I would wear a hat. And and if I know I'll be like baking in the sun, then I'll take measures. Um, but again, that is a d deep discussion there to be had because there is the sun is a source of obviously information and conscious. It's a it's a conscious wave. So we a mechanical approach to things in life, I think, can backfire on us over time. There is nowadays so much. Um, more skin cancers and more sunblocks so you know we have to really look at the diet look at the water intake look at our connection to the sun etc the sun colors building the sun colors etc because vitamin D is you know it's phenomenal if we get it from you know nature I got this one I haven't tried it yet but I know I like it how it looks it's the cool um, uh, tinted moisturizer in golden hour i feel golden hour would be more close to my color i'll let you know or let me know if you want me to let you know how it works but i've used color before and they kind of look good so i figured i'll try it for the days when i must and i definitely don't try to get a to get a tan i wear hats and stuff and i do some protection one thing with some blocks is your skin wants to tell you when it's done it doesn't want to be in the sun anymore and sometimes sunblock would help you stay longer so there is quite a big communication and interaction that happens in nature that we we need to wisely look at rather than mechanically block things and kind of uh, direct things in a human way sometimes that works as well but within we we within a certain level of wisdom uh, one more thing uh, sometimes i am tired of oils tired of actives tired of everything so i have this um uh, stem revitalized serum i don't remember if it had peptides i would like to get something with peptides but sometimes i put that because it's really dry and a little revitalized serum it looks real dry and i enjoy that uh, because i don't use powders and uh, if you have a phenomenal powder that does phenomenal stuff for your skin let me know but i haven't used powders ever and or even tinted anything now i got a tinted moisturizer so if you have some recommendations post them below uh, but this one looks really dry and I kind of enjoy it on certain days just to not have um, product and oil on my skin but to have something anyways that is all I do have one um, snail thing that was from a farm that doesn't kill them kind of vegan has them walking over the thing and the snail stuff comes through um, that one is also not bad it also has a lot of moisturizing properties if i remember that one i also list it below but that is it those are my categories are adipo uh, retin-a glycolic microdermabrasion is more mechanical the oils um sunblock or hats or etc essential oils and um stretches face stretches lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage is extremely important especially if we're prone to eye bags kind of puffiness that puffiness that is from from lymph that doesn't move i feel that when i started yoga my lymph just started to drain uh, so um i i don't necessarily always need to lymphatically drain my face because yoga does that uh, but um, sometimes some people maybe need to just address it more manually more often but I did add quite a few lymphatic drainage face classes and body to my website so it's there 
Uh, I'll keep it at that. Let's all embrace aging and the rebirth process of um, especially middle age because middle age is um, I'm looking at uh, Leo. I'll show you. He is murdering something. Huh. I can turn this camera. Where is that? Here is Leo. Johnny calls him a violent plushie. <laughs> He's very soft and really sweet and well behaved and all that. But a wild cat nonetheless. All right. All right, that is it. I think I kind of covered. I covered briefly all the categories that I wanted to cover. There's always more. But thank you for joining me. Share whatever you have to share. Procedures, products, um, other things. I don't know the red masks that people, red light masks that people use. Anything that um, you have found extremely helpful for you, please share it below um those are my kind of really strong things that i'm using for this particular time and age in my life and i'll see you soon namaste